Okay, take four. <laughs> um, apparently, I have ex I had exceeded my ability to have any more things on my computer, so I had to down I had to get rid of everything that I had done since we started all of this. All right, let's do this. Is it still? Yes, it is still going. Okay, so. What I want to do, I'm going to use 3.14. I have no idea how long ago this stopped, so, so I'm trying to do it fast. Um, 3.14 is what I'm going to use for pi for the most part. 22 sevenths is the other thing that I can use. The book for now will tell you which one to use, okay? You see it okay? Hopefully, yes. All right, um, so here, if I go through the middle is diameter. Again, sorry if I've already repeated this. Here, just going to the side, and it could be any side, right? It could just go from the center to the side. That is radius. Diameter, you can see, is two radii put together. So diameter equals two times the radius. And I should not do capital D, just regular D. So diameter equals two times the radius. Okay. Um, so let's say they give me 5.5 meters for this and they say find the perimeter, find the length around. So I'm going to do every time I'm asking myself diameter or radius. This is the same as this. It's just two times the radius is the same as the diameter. So I'm going to look at both of those. I want both of them on your paper. Um, so. I'm going to do um, 3.14 pi times diameter times 5.5. Multiply it out. I get 1, 2, 3 behind, 1, 2, 3 behind. So it's going to equal 17.27 meters. So you can see that and is it still recording yes it is it's a miracle okay all right does that make sense so far hopefully so um all right so let's say they give me one that is radius it's going to do three inches so i'm going to ask myself is this radius or diameter i'm going to use this one pi, so circumference is pi, which is 3.14, times 3 inches. I'll just do it down like this, 12, 4, 2 behind, 9.42 inches is my answer. It's really pretty simple. Um, the hard part is deciding, is this halfway? It's radius. Is it, oh golly. I didn't get that right because I did 3.14 times 3, but it's 2 times that. So 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 9 is 18. <laughs> it's 18.84 inches. And the faster way to do this, you guys, would have been 3 times 2 is 6, and then just do 3.14 times 6. Sorry. I'm trying to go fast because I messed this up so many times. Well, I didn't. My computer messed it up. So I would have done 3.14 times 2 times radius, 6. This would just save me time, right? 6 times 3 is 18. 18.84 inches, and I only had to do it once. So I'm going to multiply 2 times my radius, and then multiply it by 3.14. Okay? That was my radius one. The other one was the diameter. Let's say they give me 22 sevenths and they say, um, figure out what this would be. So let's try, um, they give me three and a half feet. And they say this time use 22 sevenths. So instead of when I put in pi or your pi, I'll do 22 sevenths. Is this radius or diameter? Radius. So I'm going to do 22 sevenths times 2 
I'm going to do 2 over 1 because it's a fraction, times 3 and a half. Ooh, 3 and a half. Can I make that into an improper fraction? 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 7 halves. So times 7 halves. Now, I'm going to say, is there anything that goes into each other? Ooh, 7 goes into 7 once, 7 goes into 7 once, 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 2 once, 22 times 1 is 22, 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, 22 over 1 is the same as 22, so I get 22 feet. They also do one, so the first four are going to end up full like this, like just a complete uh, whole number. The second four, they're going to give you, um, let's see, what did I use? Um, let's say they give me this time, I think I'm going to keep diameter, yeah, one and two-fifths yards. Okay, well, I'm doing diameter, so I'm going to do pi D, so 22 sevenths times 1 and 2 fifths. I'm going to make that into a improper fraction. 1 times 5 is 5, plus 2 is 7. That's 7 fifths. 7 fifths. Ooh, 7 goes into 7 once and once. That gives me 22 fifths. Can I turn that into a mixed number? 5 goes into 22 four times. How many left over? Two. So I get um, four and two-fifths yards. All right. Um, I did a short thing before on the bottom, the challenge. Just trying to do it really fast. Um, you do not have to do this. They do two things at once, and they say find the perimeter. That means the area, or the... Um, measurement around. Well, remember those hash marks mean that all of these are five, right? They're all the same. So I could add five plus five plus five. That's 15. Now, this is a half circle. A half circle. Does everybody see that? So I'm going to do, it looks like I know my diameter because it goes all the way across. That's five. So I'm going to do 15. Uh, let's find that circumference first. So that would be pi, 3.14, times the diameter, which is 5. 5 times 4 is 20. So I get 15.70. But then it's not a whole circle, is it? It's a half circle. So I'm going to divide that by 2. So 2 goes into 15.70 7 times. Bring down my 7, that goes 8 times. Bring down my 0, that goes 5 times. So 7.85 yards. So I had 15 and 7.85. Do you see how I line them up? I get 22.85 yards. And that's what I'm going to go with. I add those together. I added this, and then I added this. Once I found out what that half circle was. Um, that is extra credit. You don't have to do that one. Good luck. Hopefully this all worked.